If you wanna strengthen your obliques, the muscles right here on the side of your core, then I'm gonna show you my favorite movement to do this. And this is incredibly important because a lot of people think that the core muscles are meant to like twist and flex the spine. But the truth is the core muscles are meant to prevent the spine from twisting and flexing, to protect your back. And so this movement's great because if people do a lot of weird bendy movements with the spine, oftentimes that's when we can injure our back. But when you do a movement like the one I'm about to show you, it's going to strengthen your core and protect your back, which is incredibly important. So what you're gonna do is come down to the ground like this, and you're gonna come into this, what's called a side plank position, okay? So bend the knees, and you're gonna bring your hips to the ground like this, you're gonna drop down to your elbow and press your hand into the ground like this. Your elbow should just be right underneath your shoulder. Your other hand can be right here on your hips. And the first thing you're gonna do is this. You're going to press this lower knee into the ground. You're gonna squeeze the glutes and drive the hips forward like this. So you're gonna lift yourself up into a side plank position. Now in this position, you should kinda of already start to feel the core muscles on the lower side, the obliques on the lower side firing, okay? And you wanna make sure your body's in one straight line between your knees, your hips, your chest, and all the way through the top of your head. So try to think about tall through the top of your head as you do this the entire time. From a side angle, you wanna make sure that you're not poking your butt out like this or twisting your body like that. And in fact, a good tip is to imagine that your body's between two walls, one in the front and one in the back, and you're not really moving from side to side this way very much, okay? Now, one last tip for you that's gonna make a huge difference on your side plank. As you're pressing your elbow into the ground, what most people do is they push their arm this way activating their shoulders, their traps, and their neck. And so what that does is it deactivates the obliques and activates these muscles. We don't wanna do that. We don't wanna put more tension on your shoulders and neck. Instead, we wanna activate the muscles underneath the armpit right here, the lats, the serratus, and the obliques even more. So what you're gonna do is, as you're planted in this position, try to drag your elbow towards your hip. It doesn't have to actually move, just drag it towards the hip, and when you do that, it's gonna change the way that feels. So watch, back in this position, if I push my shoulder up, it looks like this, right? It's still a side plank, but it's not working all the muscles properly. If I drag my elbow towards my hip, it looks like this, and it just made the movement a whole lot harder and a whole lot more effective. Now, if for some reason this is too easy for you, or you build up to being able to hold this for like a whole minute, you can just come up to your hand, stack your feet, and come all the way up into a side plank on your hand. And this is the same exact movement, all the same points that I just shared with you to make sure you do it with good form. Now, how do you put this together into a simple workout? You can do 30 seconds to a minute on the left side, 30 seconds to a minute on the right side, rest between those, repeat three times, do this three days a week. And if you do, you're gonna strengthen those obliques and you're gonna feel your core get so much stronger because of it. Hope you enjoyed this. Hey, if you enjoyed the way I explained this movement and you like how unique this movement was, well then, guess what? Over at WeShape, which is a company I co-founded, we created a technology that creates personalized at-home workouts just for you, where every movement is unique to you. Because your body's unique, and shouldn't your workouts be unique too? So, if you wanna check that out, all you have to do is click the link below. When you do that, you'll land on a page that's gonna ask you some questions about what your goals are and what your capabilities are. We're gonna use that information to assemble a personalized follow along workout just for you. And then throughout that workout, we're gonna ask you, how did that movement feel? And you can scale the difficulty of that movement up and down based on your actual needs for that workout and we'll adjust it in real time just for you. The goal was to make it feel like you have a personal trainer right next to you, but without the cost of a personal trainer. And you could try WeShape for free. So click the link below and check it out. I promise you're gonna love these WeShape workouts.